Good evening. Good evening, guys. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? ¿Cómo están, chicas? Chicos. Hi, teacher. Oh, what's your day? Oh, my day was, I was busy, but it was cool. It was cool. I, I had, you know, for the first time in, 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 I mean, during the week, I was able to take a nap today in the afternoon, but actually I've been very busy, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, and also I'm happy for you, right? I'm happy for you because I know that today is your last um, session from uh, intermediate one. Right, so you're moving to intermediate too, right? And that's something cool. Estoy contenta por ustedes. Igual, un poco triste, pues, porque eh, ya no, probablemente no los vea para el próximo módulo, but actually it was pretty cool being with you, okay? And I'm happy for you guys. Yo siempre me alegro cuando los estudiantes se van de un módulo para otro. And then pasa el tiempo and you see them that, um, you know, they have uh, learned a lot. They have improved. They have finished courses, et cetera. So I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you guys. That's how I feel right now, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. And uh, well, again, I hope uh, that you were able to, um, to complete your paperwork, right? Your documentation, uh, so you, could, you can register, you know, for the next, um, for the next module, right? Um, no creo que hayan tenido problemas. Ustedes creo que ya están acostumbrados al proceso. Right. Así que I guess that all of you might continue with, 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 uh, with this course. Right. And um, well, also to congratulate you. Okay. To congratulate you not only because you are here, not only because you have already finished, but also because um, you are taking you know, one step further, right? Meaning that you are here in the session, right? Um, las, las, las sesiones, <laughs> you're welcome, Kenya. You're welcome. Las sesiones son, eh, digamos, no se pasa lista, pero ustedes siempre están acá. And that tells a lot about you, right? So because you want to learn, you really want to, uh, you know, take that step further to go the extra mile, right? And, and that's something um i admire right especially because of the time you know especially because it's in the evening it is from nine to ten so it's an hour of your time that you invest in learning english or at least improving right what you have been studying during the week and that's something cool okay so that's admirable well guys we're going to continue with the same topic that we finished yesterday we're going to talk a little bit about it Solo vamos a hacer un ejercicio porque el día de hoy, chicos, el enfoque es revisar el examen. We're going to check the exam or the final exam, right? And we're going to work on it together, right? So, um, so you can have an idea, right? On if you were missing, you know, some um, right answers, the reason why you, you didn't get that right answer. I know that you are able to go back and to resubmit the answer or to change the answer, right? And, and that doesn't affect you, right? But the idea is to understand the reason why that answer was not correct, right? And that's what we're going to do today in just a moment. And yesterday, uh, we still talked about um, be going and will. It's something that I have observed, algo que observé, Es que lo, el nivel, en ese nivel los temas eran bien pocos, ¿verdad? Eran gramaticalmente, eran pocos comparados con los, los, estaba dando, estoy dando, perdón, o estaba, porque hoy terminé hace unos minutos, ¿verdad? Basic one, in basic one, y todas las unidades, todas las secciones vivían cargadísimas de, de temas, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, este lo sentí bien así, bien tranquilo, because it was, you know, one topic for the week, right But it, future simple, it's very important, right ¿verdad? Es importante, especialmente si usted le va a dar el contexto a eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, again, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about plans, okay? Uh, but today we're going to talk, about, we're going to, um, how can I say, we're going to make up sentences, right? Based on these particular characters, okay? So we got Handy Andy, right? And we got Funky Fiona, right? So you got two, um, Two characters there, right? We got probably they're a couple, probably they're together, probably they're friends, probably they're dating, right? 
and they are thinking about tonight, okay? So we're going to prepare some sentences, right? We're going to prepare some sentences based on their plans, okay? So if you see he's working right now, she's at work, she works at Northwest Bank, right? What does it say there? Saving for you, okay? And you see that um, pinky bank, right? Let me see, let me, let me correct me. Let me remember that word. I think it's piggy bank, piggy bank. Mm -hmm. Piggy bank, alcancilla. I'm going to type it in the chat. Piggy bank. I can see it, right? So there's a piggy bank over there, you see? Let me get my pointer. You see the piggy bank, Northwest Bank, saving for you, right? So she's working, um, probably she's had a difficult day, right? She's been working the whole day. Andy, also it seems that he's been working, he's a mechanic, right? He works probably in a shop, in a car shop, right? And they're thinking about tonight's plans, okay? Well, let's go ahead and prepare them. Okay, guys, uh, what I want you to do right now, I will give you, I will give you five minutes, okay? I will give you five minutes. Take a look at the picture, okay? Take a look at the picture um, and please tell me the plans or, yeah, tell me like the itinerary, of, I mean, of the things that they are planning to do, okay? Ese sí es un plan. Aquí sí vamos a usar solo going to, okay? So there you have the time. You got six 637 por supuesto all of these all of these um, activities are going to be uh, performed in the evening desde las 6 en adelante de la tarde right o 5 de la tarde en adelante okay so if you see it's, uh, 6 in the evening 6:30 or half past 6 7 p.m. Uh, 30 uh, 7:30 right p.m. At 8 p.m., 10.30 p.m., and this is 1 a.m., ya en la madrugada, right? Then 5 p.m., 6.15 p.m., 7 p.m., okay? So I will give you five minutes, guys, for you to prepare your sentences, okay? But if you have any questions, please let me know. And after we finish, you are going to share them with the class, okay? La va a compartir con la clase. Very good. It is raining, guys. Excuse me, um, I can I can say uh, she's going to take a shower. No, porque como es en bañera es uh, she's going to take a bath. Ah, I think. Mm -hmm. En bañera is bath tooth, right? Bath tooth, bañera. And you take a bath. You take a bath in a bath tooth. Bath. Just let me, just let me see. Déjeme ver si va junta la palabra. Bastard. Ahorita le, me, le voy a, le voy a decir cómo se ve la letra. Ah, pues no, es así, ¿ve? Bastard. Así. So you take a bath. Take a bath in a bathtub. Ahí está. Perdón, me equivoqué. Bathtub. And then shower. En Thank regadera. Mm -hmm. And you take a shower. Right. Si es take a shower es porque es regadera. Dígame. ¿Quién dijo teacher? No one? Okay.
two more minutes, guys, two more minutes. And then we will check the answers. I'm preparing the platform. Estoy preparando aquí la plataforma, guys. Remember that um, you have until midnight, right, to complete the uh, the exercises in the platform. Okay, you have until midnight. Right now, we're going to have a review, right, of the exam, the final exam that we have in the in the platform. But uh, in your case, remember that you have until midnight. Tienen hasta la medianoche para completar la plataforma. Recuerden que el, el certificado no se genera si la plataforma no está completa, ¿verdad? Hay que completar eso, ¿ok? Está cargando aún la plataforma, chicos. Dígame, Mónica. Dígame. Hola. Eh, una pregunta un, un tanto obvia, quizá. Este, pero una vez se, se tiene el certificado, es, se da por completado el trabajo en la plataforma. Eh, de la... ¿Usted es la primera vez que está en, en el curso? Sí. Ah, ok. Pero mandó la documentación para, para la inscripción. Sí. Ah, bye. Sí, sí, en ese caso, como ya mandó la documentación para la inscripción y ya terminó la plataforma, la plataforma debe estar al 80%. Si pasa del 80%, genial, ¿verdad? Y luego tiene que irse a generar su certificado. Usted imprime su certificado. Ok. Es que son una barrita correspondiente a cada semana, me parece, y dos a cada examen y una al, al total. Pero lo importante es que llegue, esté arriba del 80. ¿Al 80 o arriba del 80? La del total sale en 100%, pero hay una, ah, la, el examen final me sale en gris, como si no lo hubiera realizado por eso, pero sí me genera el certificado. ¿Sí se lo generó? Sí. Es porque entonces pasó, pasó todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Este... Uh -huh. Pero igual, ahorita vamos a revisar el... Vamos a revisar el, el el examen, si es que nos dejan la plataforma porque la siento un poco lenta. Eh, quizás okay, porque gracias. la mayoría... De, you're welcome. Quizás la mayoría está tratando de, de hacer los ejercicios ya a última hora. But anyways, pero, pero sí, en ese caso, si ya generó su certificado y um, el examen le aparece así, eh, quiere decir de que todo lo demás le contó y le, y le, le, le la llevó al 80%, porque ese es el objetivo, llegar al 80% o más, ¿verdad? Entonces... Ya luego de eso, pues no hay ningún no hay ningún problema. Ya queda lista para la inscripción y ya queda su certificado general, ¿verdad? Ok, gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, guys, so are you ready? ¿Estamos listos? Ya. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see, ok? But this time I would like to have volunteers, ok? So you can volunteer yourself by raising the hand. Please raise the hand if you want to participate. Y voy a cerrar todo, chicos, porque veo que está un poco lento acá. Give me one moment. Solo quiero evitar que no nos vaya a fallar la plataforma. Give me one moment. Voy, Giselle. Ahorita, ahorita voy. 
Solo déjenme. Bueno, ahí está. Ok, so dígame, Giselle. Uh, I can see she's going to buy new clothes. Okay, she's going to buy new clothes. Very good, excellent. Okay, about picture number one, right? Here, you're here. Right? Yes. Okay, she's going to buy new clothes. What else? Another idea about this one? I'm going to use this. She's going to go to the shopping. Okay, she's going to go shopping. Can you hear me, guys? Hello? Hello, yes. teacher. I'm sorry, I'm no sorry. Hello. We can hear you, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you. I don't know what, what happened, pero se cortó, chicos. Solo déjenme reportarlo porque esto me va a afectar a mí. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and share the screen one more time. <laughs> Sorry guys, pero si tenía que reportarlo, si no me va a afectar a mí. Ahí está. Very good. So let's go ahead and see. So we were talking about the first, uh, the first picture, right? So let me go ahead and get this. So we were talking about this picture, you see? This one. Okay, so Giselle was telling us she is, um, she's going to buy new clothes, right? And then I think, Lester, was it you? Usted me estaba compartiendo una oración, ¿verdad? What was it? ¿Cuál fue, Lester? Um, no, I was not, but the oh. second one of the, okay. <laughs> the 6.15 is uh, she's going to take a bath in bath. <laughs> okay, she's going to take a bath, right? Very good. She's going to take a bath. She's going to relax a little bit. Creo que aquí me habían dicho she's going to go shopping, right? She's going to go shopping también, okay? Very good. 6.15, she's going to take a bath. Very good. And she's going to relax a little bit, right? Uh, what about this picture? What about this one? She's going to take the bus. Okay, she's going to take the bus, right? Uh, of course, it's not, it's not like in our country, right? In Europe... You can go ahead and get ready, and then you can take the bus, right? It's uh, a lot safer than probably doing it here, right? In the evening. Very good. She's going to take the bus. Now, let's move on to the following picture. Ahora vámonos con Andy, okay? So, what about this picture? What can you tell me about it? He's working as a mechanic. Okay, he's working as a mechanic, but what, what would be the plan? ¿Cuál sería el plan ahí? Which one, teacher? This one, six, Andy. Ah, okay, maybe I think he's, uh, he's going to get ready to leave his job. Very good, right? He's going to get ready to leave, 
right? And, or um, he he's going to finish, right, at six? Or as he's you said. Going, he's going to leave work. He's going to leave work. Okay, very good. Todas las opciones están correctas. Very good. What about, what about the second picture? Look. What about this one? He's going to change clothes at 6.30 p.m. He's going to change clothes, right, at 6.30 p.m. Very good, okay. Uh, what, about, what about this one? What about the next one, seven? He's going to leave work? Mm, well, actually, he's, the, well, probably, right? Si, quizás está en su taller, he's going to leave the shop, right? He's going to drive mm. to town center, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. You see, he's driving his the same car. Parece el mismo carro que estaba reparando. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's continue. What about uh, seven? Okay, seven thirty. What about this one? He's going to meet his fiance. Okay, he's going to meet his fiance, right? Or just they are going to meet, right? Very good. What about what about this? The next picture. What about this they, one? They are going to eat together. Very good. Lo escuché la misma oración de parte de ustedes, right? They are going to eat together. They are going to have dinner. They are going to have a romantic dinner, right? Probably. Okay, what is going to happen at 10.30? 10.30. What about that one? They're going to dance salsa music. Okay, they are going to dance salsa music, right? They are going to have fun dancing, right? Very good. What about this one? Um, they are going to walk out together. Okay, they are going to walk home, podríamos decirlo. They are going to work home, walk home, I'm sorry, together, right? Or we can say he is going to take her home right, la va a llevar a su casa, she, he is going to take her home, right, and, and that's going to be at one, right, uh, in the morning, <laughs> then at dawn, right, al, al, al amanecer casi. Okay, guys, very good job. Now, let's move on, y de hecho pasó que colapsó todo por abrir la plataforma, así que espero que funcione. Vamos. Let me delete all my drawings. Ay, chicos. Teacher. Bien. De hecho, a mí me pasa lo mismo que a Mónica, eh, que me aparece en gris, pero ya pude descargar el, el certificado y todo. Y me escribieron también y yo mandé mi formulario ya para el siguiente módulo. Entonces, Va. creo que no hay ningún problema. No, no, si ya le imprimió el... el, 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 el el certificado y ya mandó la inscripción y le, no le han dado, no le han dicho que esté mal o algo, no hay ningún problema. No se preocupe. Okay. Ahí está todo. Uh -huh. Vaya chicos, aquí está. Siempre sabemos, ¿verdad? Ustedes ya saben que aunque aquí diga una fecha distinta, nosotros sabemos que termina el último día de clases, ¿verdad? Así que that's something um, you need to know. Eh, give me one moment. Wait, guys. Night 21. Night 21. Solo déjeme asegurar que esté grabando. Sí, está grabando. Okay. Very good. So, let's continue. Uh, this is your module, right? We know that right now we should be here, right, in your final exam. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to have an overview of the, of the exam, right? Now, in my case, guys, yo no hago los ejercicios, right? That's why I'm not able to see. But if you click on here, in progress, you are able to see um, the scores. You are able to see the percentage, right, of your, um, how can I say it, of your, 
of your work, right? So here I am as a student, right? Estoy como student, but of course, yo no he hecho nada, ¿verdad? Solo a veces me meto para hacer algún ejercicio y hacer una demostración. Pero si usted se fija, su porcentaje debe estar en 80%, ¿ok? Acá quiere decir que usted ya pasó, digamos, el módulo, ¿verdad? Si pasa de 81 hacia arriba, no hay ningún problema. El módulo está completado. Entonces, let's go ahead and see if it is possible to work in the platform. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, perdón, fíjese que yo creo que ahí, porque a mí me pasaba también lo mismo que mis compañeros, ahí lo que pasa es que la barra final es, eh, tiene tres colores, porque el primer color representa eh, lo de las semanas, el otro color es el de midterm, y el otro color que es como gris creo que es el del examen final. Entonces por eso es que aparece así. Sí, creo, yo creo que pero el no color estoy seguro. está bien. Sí, yo creo que se tiene razón. Es que yo tomé, tengo otro curso que ese sí lo tomé yo, y recuerdo que el último era gris. ¿verdad? Probablemente no es que sea negativo, sino que ese color es de la barrita, probablemente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, no es que no esté completado, sino que eso significa. Porque a mí me hacía falta una parte y me aparecía 94% y era lo del examen final. Y Hello. Cuando... Hello. Hello. Hi. ¿Me escuchan, chicos? Hello. ¿Me escuchan, chicos? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, guys. Again, no puedo usar la plataforma, lo siento. Quizás, pues, por el hecho de que no me deja a mí compartir la plataforma, se, se pone todo oscuro cada vez que quiero hacerlo. Este, Tal vez, eh, Mariana, usted está en computadora. Sí. Eh, eso le voy a decir yo a, ahorita. ¿Me pueden compartir, por favor, Mariana? Yes. Thank you. Métase a la plataforma y vamos a ir viendo los ejercicios desde ahí. Ok. Solo que me dice que necesito su permiso para compartir. Pero no me aparece, fíjense que usted me esté pidiendo en la pantalla. Quiero ver. Allí, eh, le Ajá. tiene que, donde sale una flechita, allí, o en la parte de ajustes, él le clic allí y, 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 y allí, allí le va a dar la opción de dar el permiso. Mm -mm. No, no está. Es que como esto ya está configurado, no lo puedo tocar. O en los tres puntitos que aparecen al lado de mi foto también creo que se puede, teacher. Veamos. Normalmente ahí se da. Mm -mm. No. Ahora sí, ya me aparece. Ah, es que, okay. uh -huh. Solamente que usted me lo pida, puedo darle yo el permiso, de lo contrario no puedo. Vaya, ahorita ya le di el permiso, Mariana. Ok. Solo que me desapareció la opción. Ahí está. Ya. Yeah. Ya no me dejó. Ya le dejó, solo que voy a dejar de compartir yo para que comparta usted. Ah, ok. <risa> vuelva a pedirlo, si no le parece, vuelva a pedirlo. Eh... Ahorita ya me sale. Bye. Dígame si lo puede ver. Sí, ahorita sí ya podemos. Thank you, Mariana. Okay. So please go to the to the exam. Ahorita. To the final exam, ¿verdad? Tal vez a usted no le está fallando en mi caso porque está descargando el video de la clase anterior y más el Zoom. Ya no, ya no me deja abrir una aplicación más. Me dejo tanto. Okay, very good. So go to the section, listening section, which is number one, ¿verdad? And go up, váyase siempre a la barrita donde le aparece que usted está compartiendo pantalla y dele clic a compartir sonido de la computadora o share computer sound para que podamos escuchar. Cuando cargue. <laughs> Ahí está. Listen to the conversations. Lo pueden escuchar. Yes. Check the correct answers. 
One, I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Four. So, Dad, Curl down. Do you like uh -huh. your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. Okay, I think that's the end of the conversation, right? So please yes. uh, go up, please. Oh, well, uh, let me go ahead and give me the control. Uh, let me see. Aquí está. Ya se lo pedí. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so if you see, let me go, let me minimize this. Okay, so they were talking about uh, about the new apartment, right? The idea is for you to um, to understand, right, the reason why the person likes a new apartment, right? She already meant. I think it was it was a woman. She already mentioned, you know, uh, different different um, uh, different reasons, right? But the the main reason why she likes the apartment is because it's cheaper than her old apartment, right? And she even mentions that she, now she's able to save some money, right? Finally, she said, finally, I'm able to save some money, right? Then in the second conversation, right, Seth. He wants to live downtown because, right, it says it's less expensive, which is not correct. Because actually the woman mentions, right, you know what, living downtown is very expensive. It's not like in El Salvador. We know that downtown, it's totally different, right? Downtown is mainly used for, you know, um, shops and stores, right? But actually when it comes to when it comes to living, you know, downtown itself, it's not that expensive and people do not like it that much. But if we're talking about big cities, right, important cities like uh, uh you know, capital cities, right, uh that are well known all over the world, you know that it's very expensive. It's expensive living in in living downtown. And then he says that the main reason why he would like to, I mean, she, yeah, he would like to, to leave downtown is because he works there, right? Also, they were mentioning uh, some things about uh, parking space, right? So, uh, and it is true. It seems that nowadays that's a problem. Wherever you go, right? Even, 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 um, even at work, right? Yo recuerdo, guys, uh, once I had to quit. Una vez dejé un trabajo por el parqueo because it was a headache. I remember, uh, I remember I was unable to find a place. Entonces, ese mes me tocó pagar, eh, digamos, eh, sí, rentar un espacio en un, en un hotel para mi carro. So, no, dije yo, this is not for me, right? So parking spaces, you know, um, they they have become a problem right not not only not only you know in housing 
right? Not only in housing, but also, um, you know, when, when, when you work at an office or when you work, you know, at the physical premises, it's a problem too, right? So then in the next conversation, Karen is talking about her apartment, right? And she mentions that the apartment is too small, right? And that uh, now she lives, uh, I mean, she feels better because uh, her relatives come to visit her, right? So she could go ahead and uh, invite more people. Then Doug wishes his new apartment where? On the first floor, of course. Creo que cada, los que viven en apartamento todos desean vivir en el primer piso, right? It's more, it, it's more comfortable, right? Very good. So let's move on to the next activity. Let me see. Okay, very good. Now, this is about vocabulary, right? And um, it says uh, that we have to select the right answer, right? I love my neighborhood. It's very dangerous, safe, inconvenient. I know that dangerous and inconvenient are two negative two negative adjectives, right? But if I say I'm, I love my neighborhood, so that's that's gonna that's gonna be something positive, right? Meaning that's gonna be safe, right? Safe. Let me see. Let me just scroll down. It says I live on a very busy street. It can get a little bit noisy, modern, spacious. If, if it is a busy street, it means that it's crowded, right? So if it is crowded, we have a lot of people. And if we have a lot of people, it is noisy, right? So I cannot say it's modern or it's spacious because it's cramped, right? So that's gonna be noisy, right? A little bit noisy. Then it says, um, it's blah, 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 to have parking spaces near my apartment. It's comfortable convenient or dingy? Well, in this case, it's going to be uh, comfortable, right? Comfortable. I mean, conv convenient, I'm sorry, convenient. It's convenient to have parking spaces near my apartment, right? Then in number four, number four, right? It says, our house is modern and very bright. It, blah, 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 windowed. It has huge, cramped, private. If it is saying that it's very bright, it means that if it is bright, it has huge windows, right? Very good. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Give me one moment. Okay, I was answering to one of, of your classmates. Okay, very good. Now, then we were going to practice a little bit of enough and not enough, right? Enough and not enough. So it says, oops, pardon. Our apartment is too small. There are not space enough not rooms enough or not enough rooms, right? So I know that the answer is not enough rooms, right? Because every time I'm using enough, that's gonna come before, right? Before the noun, right? So also there, there are. If it is are, it means that it's plural. So no puede ser a space because space will be something uh, singular, right? And it will be, there's no, there's not enough space, right? Enough. So not enough rooms, very good. What about this one, right? People can see into our house. There is not privacy enough, not enough privacy, nor enough space, right? So again, not enough privacy, right? And remember, I mean, it can be negative, right? It, it, in this case, it's like, um, I am describing something in a negative way. It has a negative connotation, right? My car is too small. It doesn't have not enough, I mean, not space enough, enough space, not space, right? It doesn't have enough space. In this case, remember, si es otro verbo, any other verb, I'm going to use 
the auxiliary, right? If it is going to be negative. But if it is going to be the verb to be, no problem, right? Because the verb to be, it's already here, right? Is not or are not. But if it is going to be a different verb rather than verb be, so I know that I need to use my auxiliary for that, okay? Very good. Let's move on to the next exercise. It says as many or as much, right? As many or as much. Uh, complete the sentences used as, as, many, as, or as much as the words given. Now, one important thing that you need to know about as many is that um, they help you to express comparison of equality, right? Comparison of equality or inequality, right? So that's, that's the reason why we use um, this type of, of phrases, I would say, or structures, right? My apartment doesn't have many windows or much windows. Bueno, first, I know that many is for countables, right? Many is for countable nouns. And can I count the windows? Yes, I can count them, right? So that's why I'm using many, right? Then in the second sentence, let's see. Oops. Okay, second sentence. Our house is as convenient, as convenient as, or convenient. Our house is as convenient as your apartment. Y aquí es donde viene el uso de, um, de equality. So they help me to, to express that two things, you know, are equal, right? Or if it is negative, that two things are not the same, right? So if I'm using as, as it means that I'm just putting the two things at the same level and that, that, I, that I am expressing equality, you know, between those two objects, people or things or ideas that I'm comparing, right? So my, our house is as convenient as your apartment. So meaning that both things, my house and your apartment, both are convenient. Why? Because, well, both of them are close, right? And also both my apartment and, I mean, our house and your apartment, they are close to our office. So we can move, you know, we can even walk, right? We don't need the car. So uh, we're saying that both of them are at the same level. Then in number three, it says modern apartments often don't have blah, 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 older ones, right? Modern apartments often don't have as many space or as much space as. <clears throat> in this case, as much space as. Why? Because if you see, look, I need to have the structure as, and then in between, in this case, uh, what I'm trying to express, right, that has an inequality level against the apartments, right? And then I finish with as again, right? So modern apartments often don't have as much space as older ones. What does that mean? In this case, chicos, the sentence is negative. So in the previous sentence, I'm showing equality. Our house is as convenient as your apartment, meaning both of them are the same. But here I'm saying that modern apartments often don't have enough space as older apartments, okay? Or as much space, I'm sorry, as older apartments. So meaning that that adjective expresses inequality or that comparison expresses inequality, okay? Again, if I'm using the structure as, as, and it is an affirmative sentence, it means that I am, I am comparing two things and I'm making them equal. But if the sentence is negative, it means that I'm going to put two things and I'm going to compare them to show uh, the inequality between the two objects, things, etc. Let's continue. Expressing wishes, right? We studied a lot. <laughs> Vimos un poquito de expressing wishes, and and it was cool. Actually, uh, we were talking about expressing wishes, but in 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 present, because actually we can express wishes for. I mean, we, I mean we can express wishes in the present, and we can express wishes in the past. But in the past, they become a little bit hypothetical, right? 
son un poco hipotéticos cuando son en pasado. That's why we use a different structure. But if it is say, uh, I wish in my present, so pretty much what I'm going to use is simple past, right? Let's go ahead and see. It says expressing wishes. I don't like my new job, right? I wish it were more fun, more fun, or it was more fun, right? We said that uh, when it comes to expressing wishes, right, uh, we don't use was. <clears throat> Generally, we're going to use where, right? Even if it is third person singular, right? Entonces, I know that if I'm expressing wish, that's going to be where. I, I wish it were more fun. Creo que todo, ¿verdad? Todos quisiéramos tener un trabajo más divertido. Bueno, in my case, I like my job. Bueno, I have two jobs. Tengo dos trabajos. Este y el, mi trabajo de día, ¿verdad? But actually, I like both, right? So, I can't find my new cell phone, right? I can't find my new cell phone. I wish I can find it. I could find it or find it, right? In this case, the option is number two. Why? Because the simple past of can is good. So I can go ahead and use it, right? And then my boyfriend isn't, isn't in good shape. I wish he in good shape, he was in good shape, he were in good shape. No puede ser la primera porque no tengo verb, no puede ser la segunda porque tengo was y no ocupo was para expressing wishes. And is number three, he were in good shape, right? Okay, give me one moment. It says simple past versus present perfect. We also studied this topic, right? It was kind of interesting. In my case, I liked it, ¿verdad? It's kind of uh, simple if you put it into perspective, right? All what you have to do is to know that if you're going to use past simple, it's because you're going to express completed actions in the past. Meaning that in the timeline, that action that happened in the past is not part of my present. On the other hand, when we talk about present perfect, it's different. Why, teacher? Because when I'm using present perfect, pretty much what I'm doing is that I am talking about something that is started in the past, an action that is started in the past, but continuous, right? And it's still part of my present. Examples, I worked at a bank for three years. I worked at a bank for three years. It means that if I'm using simple past, it's because I don't work at a bank anymore. But if I say I have worked at a bank for three years, it means that Three years ago, I started working, but I still work right in the bank. It's part of my present. The action still continues, right? So, um, well, pretty much that's the main difference and also that we use present perfect for experiences. Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten strange food or uh, exotic food, food? Have you ever been to another country? So when we ask those questions, we're talking about experiences, right? And that's how we use them. So it says simple past versus present perfect. Very good. It says complete the conversation using the simple past or present uh, perfect tense, right? Let's see. It says present perfect versus simple past. Have you ever, have you ever eat, eats or eaten? I know that the answer is eaten because when I'm using present perfect, my verb should be in past participle. It is base form, it's third person singular, eaten, past participle. So that's the correct answer. Yes, I have, right? I, blah, 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 to Spanish restaurant last week. I went, go, goes. I know that is went because I'm talking about last week, right? If I am talking about last week, it means that that action has been completed already. No puede ser go because it's base four. No puede ser goes because it's present simple, third person singular, right? Okay. Then it says, did you blah, 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 it. Did you like, light, or likes? I know that it's like, why, teacher? Because I have an auxiliary. 
every time I have an auxiliary, I know that I'm not going to modify my verb and that my verb needs to be in base form. So it cannot be liked because I have already the auxiliary here and it cannot be likes because likes is third person singular. Yes, it were awful. It was delicious. Yes, delicious, right? I know that the answer is the second one because number one, I need a subject, it. Did you like it? Yes, it was delicious. Y como es it, I need the proper verb B and the proper verb B is was. It was delicious. No puede ser it were awful, porque primero estoy diciendo yes, no puedo decir awful. Sí, estuvo horrible, me encantó. No, right, I cannot say that. So yes, it was delicious, right? Let's continue. The future with will and be going to, right? It says complete the conversations using be going to or will. Future with will and be going to, right? Let's see. Give me one moment. Let me scroll down. It says, what, blah, 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 after class today. What you going to do? Are you going to do? Are you going to? I know that the answer is the second one. Why, teacher? Because the elements that I need are here. I need a WH word, verb B, subject, going to, and the verb, and my complement. So it's going to be number two. Uh, num yeah, the second option. And then number two. I'm definitely, blah, 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 I'm moving with a friend. I'm definitely going to watch, will watch or watch. Si yo estoy diciendo definitely, definitivamente no voy a usar will because will is just a possibility. And it means that I haven't made my decision yet. So that's going to be going to watch, right? Because I know that it's a plan already. When? When, blah, 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 their vacation. When? They take are going to take, are they going to take? No puede ser la primera, why teacher? Because I need a verb B, I need my verb B with going to. Y aquí no está ni el verb B ni el going to. No puede ser la número dos, porque no tengo mi subject, right? It is number three. Why teacher? Because I got WH word, verb B, subject, going to, and the verb, okay? Then in number four, I think blah, blah, blah on a cruise in June or July. I think they are going to go, will go, or will. Now, si yo digo I think, que fue la, lo que vimos ya despuesito en la clase, when I express I think, I'm going to use will. Why? Because I think that might happen. Yo creo que pueda pasar. That's what I think, right? It's not for, it's not for sure that that's going to happen, right? Entonces, I think they will go on a cruise. But I'm not pretty sure. No estoy segura, así que, pues no puedo decir nada, right? Okay, let's see. Aquí termina, Mariana. No, verdad? Yes. Bye. Okay. Then you had a reading, reading and comprehension, right? Eh, ay, qué chiquito, yo no sé si lo voy a poder ver. It says, hi, Paula. Greetings from Banco. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great city for shopping. Yesterday, we went to a huge weekend market. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes. And the prices are great. Things here are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Of course, Fernando tells me I'm spending too much money, but you know him, he never bites anything. Have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We just had a, we just had a wonderful dinner in one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered green curry and rice, and I had my favorite dish, me crow, crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. For dessert, we had uh, fried bananas. Everything was so good. 
It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. One thing that I've noticed is that some restaurants made their the curries less spicy for foreigners. Yesterday, I told our waiter, this curry isn't, not, isn't hot enough for us. He smiled and said, some foreigners don't like spicy food. Then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. Time to stop. We're flying home tomorrow, so I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon, Rosa, right? Let's go ahead and close this one, and let's go here. Banco is a good place for shopping. Yes, it's true, because actually she was mentioning that uh, prices are different, right? They are not that expensive, so it's a good place for shopping, especially clothes, right? You can buy most things to set clothes in the market. It's false, because actually that's what she's saying, right? She's mentioning that that's the main attraction, right? That you can buy clothes there, right? And then the prices in the market are very reasonable. It's true, she was saying that they are not that expensive. Microb is the Thai name for green curry. That's false, right? Actually, she was mentioning that those are fried noodles with shrimp, right? So it, it doesn't have to do with, with curry. All foreigner visitors love Thailand's hot and spicy food. That's false, because actually she even mentions that in restaurants they serve a different um, um, curry, right, uh, to foreigners, because most, mostly, uh, or most of the time, they don't like spicy food, and that's the reason why they don't offer, <laughs> they don't offer that option to foreigners, right? So that is the last exercise, guys. Uh, La idea era, pues, explicar cada una de las respuestas, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué son así? ¿Por qué eran esas respuestas? Eh, well, thank you for your time. Perdón que les tomé un poquito más de su tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero quería terminar, acabar eh, los ejercicios. Eh, I don't know, guys, do you have any questions? ¿Preguntas? ¿Questions? Uh, yo sé, yo tengo una pregunta. La inscripción para for me. continuar. La inscripción para continuar. Sí, pero lo de que explicó sobre el examen está, está claro. Pero mi pregunta es en relación a, para continuar en el, en el proceso de formación en inglés online, ¿hay que llenar algún tipo de documento? ¿Hay que reenviar algo o es automático? No, las instrucciones ahí están en el grupo, este, Kenia. Las mandaron, las mandaron el sábado pasado y la documentación tenía que presentarla el 3 de noviembre. Si no la ha presentado... Escríbale a la persona que, le, que puso la información en el grupo y ellos con mucho gusto le van a ayudar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Gracias. De nada. Gracias. ¿Alguien más? No, nadie más. Ok, guys. Entonces, I will stop here. Mariana, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, ya mi, co mi compo colapsó de tanto video que tengo acá, pero ya al final del módulo... Nosotros los maestros pues podemos borrar. Ya, 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 ya puede dejar de compartir si gusta. Thank you. Okay. Ajá, ya nosotros podemos borrar todos los videos porque media vez tengamos el curso eh, activo, no podemos borrar los videos que, que de las clases con ustedes. Entonces, te pueden imaginar cuántos tengo ya, ¿verdad? Con dos grupos. <ríe> ok, así <Yes>. que <ríe> ha sido un placer, chicos. Thank you very much uh, for join, joining, you know, to, with the sessions online. Uh, it was a pleasure to assist you and I wish you the best for your next uh, module, okay? So thank you very much. Have a good night and see you around, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you for your time, teacher. Thank you, Mariana. Good night. Good night. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. You're a very nice teacher. <laughs> thank you, Mariana. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. You're a great student, too. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.